We have heard about this so much. A place for the Buddhists to pay a pilgrimage in its lifetime. A temple with mystical legends. An unusual architecture to build in the cave at a remote location. The spectacular view of the surrounding mountain ranges and a site to immerse in the Bhutanese culture and spiritual beliefs. So here we are with our tour mates climbing up from the trailhead as early as 7:30 a.m. And our target is to hike up to the Tiger's Nest Monastery. The monastery can only be reached by foot due to its location. So we all gather at the parking lot at the base of the mountain. And some of us prefer to take a horse ride going uphill until midway in order to avoid hiking the whole trail. We decided not to go for the horse ride for several reasons. First, this is the best opportunity for us to train ourselves up in order to prepare ourselves for our mountain Kinabalu hike next month. Besides that, it is quite difficult to take photographs and videos while riding the horse. Bye bye! <laughs> See you later. See you later. The hiking trail is quite broad, and a certain part is divided into two paths at uh, specific points, and one for the horse and the other one for people to walk. It is primarily quite easy to walk, and there are steps at most sections. And the trail is also near to the side of a cliff, so you must be careful while walking. But it also provides us the opportunity to view the whole Paro Valley and the magnificent mountain ranges. It took us about one and a half hours to complete our ascent to the cafe that is about halfway up. We took a short break about 10 to 15 minutes and we take this opportunity to, to have some pictures and videos at the viewing platform at the cafe. We do not want to stop here for too long because we, we know that the monastery will not accept any guests entering after 11 a.m. And we still have another 40 minutes of hiking before we arrive at a tiger's nest. There are numerous prayer flags along the way as we ascend. We have a look of the sides of the valley which is getting better and better. 
and the vegetation also changes into forest and become mossy and the trail after the cafe is more challenging than before there are a few steps are uh, being constructed and there are certain steep trails and rocky sections The final push to the top was a bit challenging because of the thin air and rising heartbeats. When we were near to the monastery, uh, there are some well constructed stone steps, and uh, it leads us all the way to the bridge before we ascend again to the Tiger's Nest Monastery. You know, you must walk up a few hundred steps, then descend several hundreds again to cross the bridge over a small waterfall. And after that, there are a few more hundred steps before reaching the entrance. When we arrived at the Tiger Nest Monastery, we had to leave behind our backpacks, our camera, mobile phones and shoes. Uh, there was a security personnel station just outside the monastery gates. Thank you. So unfortunately, we cannot provide images and videos since photography and videos is strictly prohibited. After visiting the Buddhist monastery, we took our own pace to descend. The total distance for the round trip is approximately 8 to 9 kilometers. That's our story about our hiking to the Tiger's Nest Monastery. There are many different places we have been during our trip to Bhutan, which we will upload and share with you soon. 
Stay tuned and see you in the next video.